Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you all? How are you all? Fine. 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 Thank you. Fine. Thank you. How are you all? Fine. Thank you. Your breakfast. Fine. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me, children? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So let's start the class. Yes. In our previous class, we just started our new lesson. Do you remember the name of the lesson? Yes. Who can tell me the name of the lesson? Yes. Who can tell me the name of the lesson? And Bavira, what is the name of the lesson, baby? Tell me. Ten. Stems and. Ten and. Leaves. Stems and leaves. Stems and leaves. Very good. And we have discussed about different types of stems and different types and different size of leaves also in the previous class. Have you got it, children? Yes. Uh, and I have shared some pictures to you. Uh, the different types of stems and different types of leaves. Okay, tell me, the stem of a big tree is called? Trunk. The stem trunk. of a big tree is called? Trunk. Trunk, trunk. very good. Trunk. And some stems have, may have many branches and there are some plant stems have without branches, no branches. Can you name some example of some stem that have many branches? Mango tree. Mango tree, then? Then, banyan tree, banyan tree, banyan tree have a lot of branches. Then anyone else? Say the name of some other plant have a lot of branches, many branches. Who can say? Mango tree, banyan tree, orange tree, apple tree, then? Okay, give me the example for without any branches. Without any branches. Coconut tree. Coconut tree, yes. Coconut tree do not have any branches. Then, uh, can you give me example for a twisted stem, a creepy stem? Roll on the ground. A twisted stem, a creepy stem. Who will say? Hmm? Okay, here and tell me. Unmute. Pumpkin tree. Watermelon tree. Watermelon. Pumpkin. Then anyone else? Okay, RTP, unmute. Unmute. Pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin. Then Aditin and Mut. Can you name a stem that is full of thorns? A thorny stem? Rose. Rose. Any, any plant in our surroundings? Touch me not plant. Touch me not plant. Okay. 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 
ആദിത്യ ജോൺ വിത്ത് യുവർ വീഡിയോ ആദിത്യ കീർത്തി then a stem that has lot of hairs that has lot Tulsi. of hairs tulsi. tulsi okay tulsi plant so we have discussed many varieties of stems in our previous class and we discussed about lot of leaves also can you name a big leaf you should have satya okay banana leaf uh banana. then can you name a leaf that has a special smell tulsi tulsi very good <laughs> now a round shaped leaf a round shaped leaf lotus 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 very good and the tooth edge leaf a tooth edge neem leaf uh neem leaf neem leaf okay heart shaped leaf heart shaped leaf a heart shaped leaf people leaf people leaf why you look so dark today please sit straight everybody and be happy show me your smiling face a cute smile give me then only i can continue the class if you are sitting so dull how could i continue be be, be happy okay okay juan unmute juan you can unmute jo unmute fadil bihan unmute bihan unmute okay so today we are going to learn something else something new do you want to see some pictures that i have yes. shared in the last class yes yes okay what is this the stem of a big tree is called trunk stem of a big tree trunk. is called trunk then trunk. what is this a stem with a lot of branches branches stem with a lot of branches mango tree mango tree mango tree mango tree then without any branches coconut tree coconut tree coconut tree then a creepy stem creepy stem pumpkin 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 a uh, watermelon also watermelon then a smooth stem a smooth stem bamboo a smooth stem bamboo, bamboo. bamboo then what is this? a thorny stem rose rose no okay this is another rose plant and what is this yes. a hairy stem tulsi tulsi okay then a big leaf banana leaf banana, banana leaf a tooth edged leaf a tooth edged leaf leaf leaf, leaf. leaf. okay leaf. now what is this a round shaped leaf lotus 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 then a heart shaped leaf people people leaf people leaf people leaf okay then let's continue yes today we are going to learn yes. something else the different functions and different functions of stems and leaves yes. as we have learned in our previous lesson which part of a plant prepare food for the plant leaf hmm? leaf the leaf of a plant prepare the whole food for the plant okay a leaf needs what all things a leaf need to prepare it carbon from? dioxide nutrients uh, from the soil no baby the first and most thing a leaf need carbon dioxide carbon dioxide sunlight save your money sunlight sunlight carbon dioxide present in the air 
carbon dioxide present in the air. Water and nutrients from the soil. Water and nutrients from Water the soil. The leaf of a plant. The leaf of a plant. Prepare. Prepare. Food for the plant. Food for the plant. Have you got it? And food Which of the leaves are in which color? Green. You know why? Because there is a substance that is named chlorophyll is present in the leaf. That substance gives green color to the leaf. What is the name of the substance present in the leaf? Chlorophyll. Repeat after me. Chlorophyll. A bit difficult to pronounce. Don't worry, I'll make it easy. Glow. Glow. Row. Row. Fill. Fill. Row. Fill. Row. Row. Fill. Row. Row. Fill. Glow. Row. Fill. Okay, tell me. Name the substance that give green color to the leaves. Chlorophyll. 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 You know, some leaves are brown in color. They turn brown. You know, when there is a substance named tannin. 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 Repeat after me. Tannin. 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 What is the name of the substance that gives green color to the leaf? Green color. What is the name of the substance that gives brown color to the leaf? Tannin. 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 Okay, tannin. Tannin. Smile and say. Everybody smile and say tannin. So, there is a substance called a green substance present in the leaf named chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. What is the name of the substance that is present in the leaf? Chlorophyll. You green color. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. What is the name of the substance that you brown? Tannin. Tannin. Have you all understood this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, we can learn the different functions of leaves and stems. And you know, children, which part somebody told you? Aditya and Aditya device. Aditya from your device again here. Ma'am, I am the M. Ma'am, now I am the M. Aditya, mute your device. Okay, let's continue. Which part of the plant take water and nutrients from the soil? Root. Root. Okay. Which part Root. of the plant is known as the kitchen of the plant? Leaf. Leaf. Which part of the plant is known as the food factory of the plant? Leaf. Leaf. Okay. So, do you know the stem? Okay. The part of a plant that grows above the ground and it is it's supposed to stem. Put the stem. and leaves. What is that? It's called stem. Stem is called stem. stem. And the stem, you know children, the stem holds the plant upright. Okay. The stem hold the plant, the plant upright. upright. Mm? It is support the branches and leaves. It support the branches and leaves. And you know, children, okay, leaves prepare food for the plant. And do you think the leaves come down and take all the water and nutrients from the soil? No. Root carries. No, root baby. Gives it to the no, stem and stem carries to the yeah stem leaf. carries 
root takes root absorb water and nutrients from the soil yes, and give to stem carries this water and nutrients to the leaves okay the stem it is the function of our stem to carry this water and nutrients Nutri to the leaves to carry water water and nutrients to the leaves with the help of the sunlight yes. this water and nutrients carbon dioxide present in the air and chlorophyll the leaf of a plant prepare the food for the whole plant and do you think once the food is ready the leaf can go and distribute it to all parts of the plant no stem distributes it then again it is the duty it is the function of the stem has to carry this prepared food to distribute it to all parts of the plant have you got it the stem has yes. to do double duty one the first duty of the stem the first function of the stem to give to carry the water and nutrients from the soil to the leaves once the food is ready food is prepared the leaves yes food is ready but leaves are not ready to go and distribute the leaves stem will give it to everybody leaves just to pass this food to stem and again it is the duty it is the function of the stem has to distribute the prepared food to all parts of the plant the stem only distribute the prepared food to all parts of the plant have you got it children yes ma'am hmm? yes ma'am <laughs> okay um do you like to play cricket yes how many like to play cricket do you like to play football yes okay yes and just uh, think about it children all the players in the game in the team has to play nicely am i right or yes. the yes. batsman should only play uh, bat nicely do you think the team will win the game no no all the players has to play their role perfectly then only the team can win the match otherwise they will definitely fail so like that our body also has many parts do you think all the parts of our body has to function well otherwise what will happen we will die we will die we may fall sick so like us plants also have different parts in their body and all those parts has to do its own function all those parts of the plant has to do its own function mm -hmm. root has to do okay one day the root will decide i'm not going to do anything i'm i'll be very lazy today it's a cool morning it's a cool day i want to sleep i don't want to ready to take water and minerals from the soil what will happen to the plant the plant will not get food the plant will not the leaf of the plant will not make cannot make the food and definitely the plant will die okay then one day the stem stem of the plant decide oh feeling so lazy i'm not ready to carry the water and minerals to the leaves i'm not ready i'm feeling so lazy do you think a leaf can prepare its own food no without water and nutrients not get water and nutrients no no and one day our leaf will decide ho oh, it's a lazy day for me and i'm not going to prepare food for the plant what will happen to the plant the plant may die so each part of a plant has to do its own function each part of a plant has to do its own function whether it may be root the root has to do its own function the stem has to do its own function the leaf has to do its own function each part of the plant has to do its own function function then only the plant can grow properly it can survive properly have you all understood yes yes ma'am so today yes, we have learned about the different functions of stems and leaves the most important function of the leaf is preparing food and you know there is a name for the plants prepare its own food this process we can see 
photosynthesis photosynthesis okay repeat after me photo photosynthesis synthesis everybody synthesis. everybody repeat after me photosynthesis 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 okay the process of plants preparing its own food with the help of sunlight carbon dioxide present in the air and water and nutrients from the soil this process is known as photosynthesis, photosynthesis. okay now tell me what is the name of the substance that give green color to the leaf green color to the leaf what is the name of the substance chlorophyll repeat after me chlorophyll chlorophyll name the substance that uh, give brown color to the leaf brown brown tangerine tannin 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 okay name the process that plants prepare its own food what is the name photosynthesis very good photosynthesis okay which part of a plant absorb water and nutrients from the soil root root, root. which which part of the plant carry this water and nutrients to the leaves stem stem once stem. the food is ready prepared by the leaves uh which part of the plant Uh, distribute the food to all parts of the plant stem 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 what is the most beautiful and attractive part of the plant flower flower yes flower watch one video yes we do a plant to yes. get some food yes. are you ready yes okay. <laughs> come on let's watch the video Plants make their own. Please wait. Video is coming. Ma'am, full screen. Yeah, I'll make it. Please wait. something Oh wow this is inside of a leaf Yes if you see a leaf under microscope you would see there are brick like structures these are called cells the cells under top layer are called mesophyll cells 
What is inside these cells? Let me show you. What are these green, green blocks? Oh, these are called chloroplasts. Now see this. Oh, I think green color of leaves is because of this chloroplast. Yes, you In chloroplast cells, there is a chemical called chlorophyll, which gives green color to the plants. So food is made here. Yes, in these cells, with carbon dioxide, sunlight, and water, plants make food. Sun plus carbon dioxide plus water is equal to glucose plus oxygen. Oh, so oxygen, which we breathe, also comes from plants. <laughs> You're right. So, plants make food and we get oxygen. Cool! Yes, see, plants always help us. But tell me, why this cooking? But plant is called photosynthesis. Oh, photo means light and synthesis means mixing. So, mixing which takes place under sunlight is called photosynthesis. Let me note it down. Carbon dioxide plus water plus sunlight is equal to photo plant plus Last point, you know, plants make the food in leaf. That is why it is called the food factory of the plant. Let me show you something. Arsha Vardhan, where are you? Come back to your place. Some plants photosynthesis. Mm. Then do they make their food? They don't make their own food. They suck their food from the place they grow on. Are there more plants like that? Yeah, there are plants who don't make their own food. But how does this plant food? My magic wand would show this. Plant traps the insect and eats these insects or small animals like frogs. This plant's name is Venus flytrap. This is so interesting. Yes, but there are only few plants who don't make their own food. Yeah, very few non-vegetarian plants. To know more, watch parts of plants and parts of flowers at the toes. Don't make me read, make me understand. Make me a genius. Literature of education visit www.makemegenius.com. How was the video, children? Good. Okay. If you want, you can also go and search in YouTube. Uh, you will get nice videos related to photosynthesis, how the plant prepare their food. Okay, that's all for today. Can we wind up the class? Yes, ma'am. Bye, bye. Okay. You have bye. to read the lesson. Bye. You have to read the lesson thoroughly. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Love you all. Take care. Yes, ma'am.